Hi, welcome to Trinity. My name is Emer, and I'm an undergraduate studying engineering here at Trinity College Dublin. I'm here to show you around the Hamilton Library. The Hamilton Library is located on the second floor of the Hamilton Building. Students can access the library through the main steps. There's also a lift. The Hamilton Library holds books and journals relating to science, health science, engineering, mathematics and the computer sciences. The collections are spread over two levels. We're now at the entrance to the Hamilton Library. Please remember to switch your phone on silent. Please look after your ID card as you'll need it to borrow books too. This is the counter where you can borrow or return any books that you have on loan. The library also has closed access or storage areas, so if what you're looking for is there, a staff member can get it for you and deliver it here. There are computers for accessing library resources and the library catalogue on this floor. You can use these PCs to search online books and journals that the library subscribes to, or you can bring in your own laptop to connect to the college Wi-Fi. Print journals are also located on this floor. Let's start by talking about where you can get help. The library staff are here to assist you to use the library and its resources effectively. Talk to the duty librarian if you can't locate a book or for any help you need on using the library. Each subject also has a librarian associated with it, with whom you can get in touch for more specific help in your area. The library website at tcd.ie forward slash library has contact details for subject librarians as well as lots of other information, so do have a look. The library gives classes throughout the year on using its resources and you'll be informed about times and locations. When you get your reading list from your lecture, look up the titles in the catalogue to find out where your book or journal is. The item might be in printed or electronic format, or even both. Our catalogue will tell you this. It is freely available on the internet, so you can access it from anywhere in the world, from home or in college. Use the catalogue to renew or reserve your books too. You can choose either the Stella catalogue or the Library catalogue to search for a book or a journal or a DVD or whatever it is you're looking for. Don't be surprised to find that copies of the same title can be in different places. If the catalogue indicates that a book is open access or lending, it's on the open shelves for you to access. The catalogue gives you the shelf mark of the item, which is like the address of the item on the shelf. Each shelf mark is unique, so write it down in full. About 80% of what the library has is in closed access stacks, either on campus or in a huge store in Santry, North County Dublin. The catalogue will clearly indicate if an item is in stacks. If you need something from stacks, most items can be requested via the catalogue using your college username and password. Just follow the instructions on the screen. Make a note of the shelf mark, as this time you'll need to show it to a member of library staff when you're picking it up at the counter later. Many of the journals used by science, medical and technology undergraduates are available electronically. These are known as electronic journals or e-journals. From the search box on the library homepage, simply type in your title and click search. Select e-journal under format to view the electronic journals with this title. Click on the e-journal's title to view the record and then access the journal by clicking one of the offered links. From time to time you will see Counter Reserve as a location in the catalogue. Counter Reserve can also be referred to as the short loan collection. A Counter Reserve item is distinguished by the prefix Perm Res. Take the item to the counter with your ID card. It's issued on your ID card but you can't take it outside the library. Let's go find that book in the engineering section. The Science Lending, or SLEN collection, is located on the lower level of the Hamilton Library. This has an SLEN prefix, so I can borrow it. The open access shelves start on the right side of the stairs and continue to the left side of the library. Outsize books are located at the start of the open access collection. If you see a plus in the catalogue when searching for a book, this is where it will be located. The book is issued on your ID card for a week, 
Undergraduates can only borrow books with S-LEN on the cover. I can't borrow this book because it doesn't have S-LEN on the label. Instead, I think I'll photocopy the section I'm interested in. There are photocopiers on both levels of the Hamilton Library. You can purchase a photocopying card called a copycat card. The library doesn't provide change, so make sure that you have the right coins with you. Please remember to treat library material with care. There are guidelines posted on the walls about how much you are allowed to copy. Please read these carefully. The Hamilton Library has a group study room for project work. Students need to pre-book the room at the Hamilton Library counter using the booking form. On the lower level of the Hamilton Library, students will find the Assistive Technology Information Centre or ATIC room. Students should contact the College Disability Service should they wish to use this facility. So that's a glimpse into the Hamilton Library services and facilities. You're bound to have loads more questions as you get started, so don't be afraid to ask the staff for help. Enjoy your time in college and see you around.